What up again, YouTube family? As we do another reaction to my own videos. And this reaction can't get copyright striked or nothing because it's my own video. And we're about to make fun of it. So I'm going to let you watch it first this time. Then we're going to go back and go through the explanation of all the corniness. And you also get to see where this, up here in this right corner, the icon there, come from. It actually comes from this video. So, let's watch. You have come so far, but yet you still, still have a long way to go. You have fought with yourself and many of the demons, demons that, that you have grown up against. You say you came here to train. To, to be defined, defined that the that abilities that are all of you. But yet, yet that darkness, that darkness is still there. there. It is what hinders you. It is what keeps you, you, keep you from, from becoming, becoming greater. greater. And it, it was what keeps holding, holding you back. back. I, can I can only teach, teach you, you so, so much, much when it comes, it comes to, to the earth. You, you must, must let, let this, this darkness, darkness go. go. I must let, let the darkness, darkness go, go, you say. say. <sighs> this, this darkness, darkness comes, comes from, from humanity. humanity. You, you are, are the, the reason, reason why, why I, I am, am what, what I am. I am. I have, I have fought, fought against, against the darkness. darkness. I have fought, I have fought against, against the shadow, shadow of my own self. self. And, and yet you still betray me. me. Now, 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 Use them wisely. wisely. Don't, Don't worry. worry. I will. I will. <laughs> you know how you first start on YouTube and you actually think that you're doing something amazing? That's what I thought I was doing something amazing until I realized how corny it is. Dude, when YouTubers get to a certain plateau, like I've seen YouTubers who have millions of subscribers and billions of views and they keep the old videos up because they're like, hey, let's go back and look at how corny those videos are. They had less equipment to work with. They had uh, less time to work with and they were new to the whole thing. That is not even going to be my excuse. Corny is corny. So let's go over the corniness of it. Okay, so like I said, that Dragon Flames, I guess I used that back in two. Well, I changed it that long ago. Okay, so Dragon Flame. Okay, so if you see here, you can see the line borders in which when I created this sun in Adobe After Effects, and just use the picture background. You can see the limitations on there as it plays. I'm trying to get to a frame. Here it is, right here. That limitation, that limitation. So it's a limitation within the frame itself. Um, this editing effect literally took me 10 minutes to do. And it don't be out the facts. I kid you not. Um, this is my homeboy's house, which I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know if he wants me to. But anyways, we was at his house and I was on my laptop. I was bored. I said, yo, you know what? I bet you I can edit a video in like 10 minutes. So I sat there, went in the kitchen, did what I did, and in 10 minutes edited the, the, that little video of me levitating a gallon of water. So it, it didn't even take that long. It's like... 
You say you, you, say you came, came here to train. train. Yeah, and the way I did it was I did two frames. I had a frame in which it was a regular video with nothing there. Um, no, no, I did it in two frames. I had a frame where I myself picked up the water and kind of did this like it was shaking. And then I had another one where it shows me doing this. And all I did was line them up together. There's a whole bunch of videos that I made back in like 2011, 2012. I can't even find those. There's videos I made back in 2009. I was making YouTube videos since 2009. Since 2009, I was making YouTube videos. So it's a, it was a long time making two YouTube videos. And because I hadn't, didn't stay consistent with it, um, that's probably the reason why it's everything where it's at, where it's at, but I'm gonna just keep pushing. Uh, I got better equipment now. I did lots more research over the years and I also have better software. I was using Adobe After Effects then. I'm now using HitFilm Express. So I might come out with a little something, some I got something planned for y'all. I might film that Monday and edit it Monday. I might sit there, edit the whole day, just film it and edit in one day just so y'all can see something. But anyways, like I said, this is like you see the limitation of Adobe After Effects software. Now to get the lighting itself, most people just want to do just full on visual effects. No, you got to have practical effects in there somewhere. So when you see certain lighting and stuff like that, that's me using a practical effect. Whether I'm using a light in my hand or something like that to give off the lighting effect or something like that. Um, also as well, I realized that the very, I would put it like this, the very first video I've ever done with visual effects was in 2008. And it's when I use, back then it was called FX Home. Hit Film Express was called FX Home. So Hif, uh, FX Home was the very first visual software I've ever used. Loved it. To me, honestly, it gave better certain effects than even Adobe did at the time. At the time. Um, and I was able to do like reflective effects like it was nothing. So it looked more realistic when we using FX Home. But I couldn't find the software again, so I ended up using Adobe. But anyways, like I said, um, it was a learning process. It was a learning curve to it, um, especially creating that sun. That sun alone took me five days using. Oh, I like this effect right here with the fire. Now, again, that's not me in the street just filming myself waving my hand. That's a picture. So uh, some of I use a lot of pictures to act like I was on location and just green screen myself into it. And I have to admit, this is one of my better effects at the time. I took my time on this, as you can tell. I made sure I did distortion effects. I made sure I did uh, the flame effect I created from scratch. I didn't use any pre-type software or stuff like that on there. That effect I've actually like basically had to create from scratch and it took me i think two days to do that so it didn't take me that long let's watch it so as you can see real close not only do i have the fire flex but you can see the smoke effects you can see the distortion in the background let's get to the beginning of that scene so you can see the whole thing Goodness. Darkness. Darkness. so yeah i i actually took my time with that scene and when you look at the hand, I use practical effects for the hands. That's the reason why when I wave my hand, it looks like my hand is bright where the fire is coming from. And that's why it looks bright right there. And you can see the reflective reflection off of me. Uh, I tried to edit some of it in there myself, which you can tell with these lines right here. Once you play it back, you can basically see, it's basically don't even pay attention to those. Um, I don't know why I, I think coming, I was, coming to later. Oh yeah, I was testing the fire effects. So the fire effects I created from scratch using the Adobe After Effects. That stuff is not easy. I watched a couple of uh, things on there. The easiest effect to do on Adobe After Effects is lightning. 
Lightning is the easiest effect to do on there at all, period. You feel me? It's so easy. It, it, I messed up on the masking on his arm, so I'm not even going to play it. But you see how I also did the lighting effect in my glasses? Because most people would have just did just the lightning down in this area right here. They wouldn't even think about, hey, you know, if I'm looking at a certain light, it's got to reflect, right? So you can see this big old computer monitor I got in the background. Well, I think it's my TV. I got that right there. This is when I think I stayed at my sister's house. I basically had the room, basement room to myself. And when I come home, I basically just stayed. I went to work, came home, just stayed in that room almost all damn day. I'm like, as long as nobody messed with my car, I was cool. But I basically just stayed there the whole freaking day, like all day. <sighs> Sorry, it's kind of like it's exactly 1234 in the morning. So it's exactly one, two, three, four in the morning. That's a lotto win for me right there. I'll post that lotto uh, review surprise video for y'all later on. Anyways, so that's me playing around with some lightning effects. If you look real closely, I was going bald um, at the time and um, still still am. This right here, I try to make it look like I was flying down towards the earth. I really did not do a good job with that. Um, here, I was basically don't know what the hell I was doing, trying to make it look like a helicopter was coming down. Again, this is a picture. The helicopter is the picture. Um, so we're going to skip that. And right here, I was just outside in the back of my job. I had just got off work, and I said, you know what? This is a perfect view. I'm going to go back there and film this. Comes from humanity. So I went and filmed the arms doing you that. Are the reason why. I was actually why. trying to test the effect that they end up using in Amazing Spider-Man 2 with Jamie Foxx. I was trying to test that effect, see if I can do like a human torch type of thing, and... I could not do it. Okay, so let me see here. This is, you can see the cutoff right there. That's bad. So this is my character flying downward towards this other character with the mask. That's kind of where this picture in the upper right hand corner comes from. This uh, You'll see the scene itself. This is that character right there. And then the Hooded Mask character, he's going to show up next. You're going to see him on, on there as well. Um, so we got this effect going. And there is the... There's my character as he gets the, like, the power thing going on right there. And I know a lot of people look at this and like, this looks like a real actual movie scene. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it, it kind of does, but... That's because I took time on it. And then you have the hooded mask character right there who has his own power in his hands. is a power in the skies fight. And he's flying up towards the other character. Excuse me. And it's raining outside, so I got the rain effect on there. Looks like they're above the city. And um, here is where they actually clash at right here as you can see both characters I'm trying to get the, the right frame for the clash or unless my dumb self didn't do right deal, deal, betray, betray. Me, me. there you go okay so I got it to where this is the other character that was coming down towards him like I said it's raining you got the background that's the other character this film right here this scene right here I was actually experimenting with the zoom function in Adobe After Effects at the time trying to test it out and was able to film this scene with it he not he not then we got the bow, lightning bow, storms bow. in the background which at this point I was so tired I didn't even do the lighting effects on the clouds I was just tired bro like and then you got the little action sign that comes out, so that's that's cute right there. All right then, so I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go for right now. Um, like I said, that was that video. Uh, we got more videos to go and show. Next up, I might go ahead and do a review uh, on this uh, 
on his flashlight real quick and because I'm getting sleepy. And that's it, man. I just want to say, you know, love y'all. Be safe before I smack you in the face. All right, then. Peace out.